Hi loves, today I have a brand new lipstick from Revlon to share and review with you guys. It's their new Ultra HD lipstick and I have it in here, the shade 855 Geranium, which I'm wearing on my lips right now, and also 830 Rose. And I picked it up from Walmart for about $9.96 each and I was pretty surprised at how expensive drugstore lipsticks are getting nowadays. It's pretty crazy, but I picked it up nonetheless. But on the display, I didn't have much information on this lipstick. All it says was it's an HD lipstick so I'm guessing it's supposed to be a flawless on your lips. I have no idea because there's no information even on the internet and even on the Revlon website there's no information so I'm just on the Walgreens website right now and it says here ultra HD lip colors opaque color sheen finish and non-sticky and that's pretty much it but in this Ultra HD lipstick collection. There are 14 shades available. I just picked up two. It's these two which kind of caught my eye and just like shades that I would like. <laughs> so that is pretty much all the information I can tell you guys on this Ultra D or Ultra HD lipstick. So let's by go over Revlon. the packaging first. This really caught my eye because of the packaging. It looks almost like a crystal or a diamond the way it's kind of cut and faceted I guess. It's just a very beautiful clear um, kind of top here and on the top it's pretty much clear it's not faceted so you can definitely see what shade is in the lipstick tube and also comes with this metallic chrome base and it says Revlon on it as well and at the bottom it has the sticker of course and its name and that's pretty much the packaging it kind of reminds me of the Revlon lip butters but the only thing is when I try to open it, I'm just really, really scared to open it because as you guys can tell, the lipstick bullet doesn't go all the way down. So every time I open it, I'm just so afraid to like nick off the lipstick like tube. So that's pretty much the downside of this packaging. But otherwise, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous lipstick tube. It just looks very expensive and just very, very beautiful. So I'm going to try to open it without ruining the lipstick tube. I did ruin this one a little bit, but I wiped it off earlier. But that's the only downside of this lipstick. Eee! Okay, there, I got it out. Yay! <laughs> but here is what it looks like on the inside. It's like a chrome silver packaging here and it just kind of, do you guys hear that? Like every time it goes down or up, it has that little popping noise. So you just twist this very nicely up. And this is what geranium looks like. I'll swatch it for you guys as well so you guys can see what it looks like swatch. But on my lips, this is what it looks like. It's a very beautiful kind of like coral, almost coral red orangey color. It's a very unique color. That's why I picked this up. It's It gives my lips like a nice pop of color. It's kind of almost like, I, I don't want to say neon, but it's just very bright and vibrant. So I love that. And as you guys can tell in the swatch, it's pretty pigmented as well. And that's what geranium oh gosh, looks like. I cannot wait to like actually use enough product so I don't have to be scared opening these lipsticks. <laughs> but here is a swatch of rose. Rose is just a very um, everyday pink color which I like those shades on my lips so that's what rose looks like and yeah that's pretty much what I picked up a very beautiful vibrant corally orange color and an everyday pink shade so I love 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 so my I've worn these lipsticks for about a week now and I can finally tell you guys my thoughts and review them with you guys so basically this lipstick is a moisturizing lipstick in my opinion um, for HD, I don't know what they considered ultra HD because they didn't really have any information on their board. So I don't know how to explain if it's uh, like if it's HD or not. But I can get, tell you what these lipsticks both do for me. So they are number one pretty pigmented so quite opaque when you apply it on so one or two swipes will get you the fullest color payoff and even with just one swipe of this it's very pigmented as well and also it glides on very smoothly onto my lips it's not patchy at all it feels moisturizing the moisturize or it kept my lips hydrated for about 
um, four to five hours so just a normal lipstick wear and also this lipstick comes off it's not like a long lasting so it does transfer onto um, your partner's lips or even when you're eating or drinking something it does transfer onto your cups and everything so it uh, it's not like a long lasting lipstick at all and also um, when I applied it it glides on just really really nicely and very smoothly as well it makes my lips look nice and smooth and also um, it feels really nice on my lips as well it has the slightest sheen to it so it's not too like glossy of a lipstick or anything it's just like a natural um, sheen to my lips and one thing I, I notice with these lipsticks is now that it's close to winter time your lips are probably more chapped and dry Definitely make sure your lips are nice and moisturized and all your dry spots are all brushed away or all exfoliated before you apply this lipstick because this can definitely catch onto your dry spots and enhance that if you do not take care of that problem before applying these lipsticks. Also what I notice is these lipsticks have um, quite a bit of, I guess, scent to them and taste so if you're one to not like lipsticks that are very fragrant or very perfumey then maybe pass up on these because they do have quite a strong like scent and taste to them mm, yeah I can still taste the lipstick but the the scent and taste doesn't go away it does last there pretty much during your entire wear so I'm really bad with explaining scents but this smells like sweet and it kind of smells like if you it's really weird but it smells like pandan to me like if you had pandan ice cream or pandan candies that's pretty much what it smells like but I don't know how to explain it so if you guys try it out or smell this that leave leave the leave what you kind of think it smells like in the comments down below because I cannot put my finger on it but it smells like pandan to me but if you guys are not like a strong scent lover or perfumey lover then definitely skip out on these because it does have a strong scent to them but overall I did enjoy these lipsticks. Just keep in mind to exfoliate your lips, but they do have a nice feel to them on my lips. And during the day, it didn't dry out my lips at all. It does not leave a stain on your lips, even though this color is very vibrant. Once you wipe it off, all the color is off as well. So I did enjoy these lipsticks. I know some people out there uh, did not like this because of the way it feels. Um, it almost feels like a... Hmm. like a lip balm like it's slippery but it's not too slick so if you're like if you guys um, don't like when your lips feel kind of slick and slippery then this may not be the lipstick for you but to me it's a very comfortable slick slippery feel so I definitely do like this and definitely check it out because it's just very beautiful even just to put on like your vanity or even in your makeup collection it's just a very eye-catching very like classic and beautiful packaging I've just never seen anything like this in the drugstore it just looks like a crystal or a diamond so very luxurious so I hope you guys enjoyed my review on the new Revlon Ultra HD lipsticks um, they are definitely more moisturizing than the regular Revlon lipsticks in my opinion because these can either be hit or miss depending on what shade you choose and yeah I think I just find it more moisturizing than the Rev, uh, regular Revlon lipstick and also they are pretty comparable to the Revlon lip butters but I do find it to feel more kind of moisturizing and hydrating than the Revlon lip butters maybe it's because of the way it feels on my lips that kind of slick slippery feel it kind of makes my lips and my brain think that it's more moisturizing but these Revlon lip butters are definitely moisturizing but I do find this to be just a little bit more moisturizing than the Revlon lip butters so that is pretty much my review on these new lipsticks I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions or comments definitely leave it down below and I will answer them for you and let me know if you guys plan on trying these these are just very very gorgeous in my opinion and I just I just want like the entire collection even though I don't like um, like all the shades in the collection it's just a very beautiful packaging I just ah, I just love it so much it's just so pretty so I hope you guys enjoy and I will chat with you guys on my next video bye